We have learned a deputy believes an armed security guard at the STEM school in Douglas County shot at him as events unfolded on Tuesday. Investigator Brian Moss says he was told the guard fired at least one round during that incident. We do not know if that deputy was in uniform and investigations underway, including ballistics, to see how many shots the guard may have fired and where those bullets ended up. Kendra Castillo died in that shooting on Tuesday, and now he is being remembered as a hero. The 18-year-old tackled the gunman who opened fire in his classroom, and his father says he is not at all surprised his son moved to protect others. He was smart, and he was confident, and he was sure about what he was doing. You know, he was no doubt that if there's danger or there's a situation, and if he could, he's going to act on it. And, you know, that's why I'm not surprised. I'd like the world to know that, you know, this wasn't your average kid. Kendrick was not alone in that fight, and our Kelly Worthman shares the story of another student who helped take down that gunman. It happened so fast. It was such an intense, um, intense couple seconds that I there was no speaking. It was just movement and fighting. Brendan Biley yeah. didn't think twice before rushing to stop a shooter in his classroom and save his fellow students. It, it wasn't just me. It was a complete team effort. Brendan says his good friend Kendra Castillo was the first to run toward the shooter. The gunman was there and then he was against the wall and uh, didn't know what the hell hit him. Brendan remembers hearing at least two gunshots before he was able to get the weapon away from his classmate. I just happened to be on the right side, was able to get the handgun away from him. And his other friend, Josh Jones, was quick to stop the gunman from getting away. Even though uh, Josh had been shot in the leg, he retained and stayed on top of uh, the shooter until police arrived. Within seconds, Brendan says he saw his friend since eighth grade was badly hurt. I came over to Kendrick, uh, giving him verbal and physical feedback, and he was not giving me anything. Were you scared? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was an immense, a, a, like, I'm not going to pretend I wasn't scared. Like, that, that, that stuff is immensely terrifying. Yet he won't let that fear consume him. Instead, he's focusing on his friend Kendrick, who gave his life helping others. Kendrick Castillo died a legend. He died a trooper. He got his ticket to Valhalla, and I know he will be with me for the rest of my life. I'm Kelly Worthman, covering Colorado First. Hero. The 18-year-old suspect in that shooting made his first court appearance yesterday. Devin Erickson kept his head down for most of that appearance. Faces one count of first-degree murder, 29 of attempted first-degree murder. He'll be back in court tomorrow. Second suspect's a juvenile who we have learned is Maya McKinney. McKinney identifies as male and prefers to be called Alec. He also appeared in court yesterday. We will find out tomorrow if he'll be charged as an adult. We know many Coloradans want to help in the aftermath of this tragedy. We have put together a list of funds that have direct ties to the Kendrick family and to the school. You'll find it on our links and info page at cbsdenver.com.